Hello everyone, it's Rita here, and I am just going to do a short video on uh, picking our uh, 1500 subscriber uh, winner. And um, it was all on uh, the video, uh, last week's postcard video. And um, anybody who commented on that video, because I didn't broadcast it, uh, because I wanted this to go to my subscribers who follow me uh, on a regular basis. So, um, after saying that, I just want to say um, thank you to everybody who subscribes. And I do know some of you might not have seen that video and, because you didn't make a comment. And <laughs> you pretty much comment every day. So, uh, maybe, you know, next time. Um, but I could only use the ones that actually commented. I was trying to use the comment maker thing on YouTube and I couldn't figure it out to at least right now. So I went ahead and just wrote the names and then I will, um, do a, um, number from Google. Um, so your prize, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it will be coming in one of these. I don't know if it'll come in a box or an envelope or what, but it's Amazon. So just um, just know that you'll be getting a package. So when you, um, if your name comes up, be sure to put uh, your email address, uh, your regular uh, home address, and send it to my email address, please. Um, yeah, I um, I wish everyone luck, and um, here we go. Hey Google, pick a number between one and twenty-two. takes her a while. Two. Two. Brenda Brandon. Brenda, you are the winner. And uh, so please send me your um, information so that I can get this out to you. Um, I'm going to say, let's see, today is Monday. I will give you till... Um, Friday to notify me. I don't know what that date is. Um, and then uh, we'll pick another winner on Saturday. I can't write. Pick uh, another one on Saturday. Okay. So, uh, Brenda, I hope to, to hear from you. Okay. Thank you so much for your... Um, subscribing and commenting and all that good stuff all right so i'm going not going to do a make big anything big but i just wanted to show you i'm doing some progress here on this memories um of the meadow and you know i've just taken some a little bit of time and and worked on it so i have stitched the fabric to make these um one page now and then um, here's another one that uh, I've stitched together here. So I think that's going to work out pretty good. And um, <clears throat> I had the um, I had the cover under a book all weekend, and it's not quite as uh, warped as it was. I know a lot of you said it didn't look warped, but I, I don't know. I just it could have been just the way that it was laying on the book. So maybe when I get this done and decide what, you know, how many pages are going to go in here, it will lay down better. Um, and then, uh, one of the, one of my, uh, subscribers, uh, Candace said that she had a, a flood in her, her house and it warped one of her journals. And, uh, it's very possible that because we've had really humid days, um, this year maybe that's what happened and I don't normally you know work with hardback books so here's another one and this one I haven't put together yet uh, here's another these I have not sewn uh, down yeah I haven't sewn, but they're working out they're working out fine this one I sewed I was kind of jumping around trying to put this is just a flip. I thought it was a pocket in here and I couldn't get it open. 
pocket, <laughs> but it's not a pocket. Um, yeah, so this I need to, I haven't covered the other side because I feel like it's going to be down inside. The, see, I don't know. I, I don't, I'm not sure if it feels like I need to, to do both sides or not. I don't know. I have to see how it feels. Let's see. And this one's just one that's not sewn together yet. So, but it shouldn't take me too much longer. And then, of course, um, going through and making sure that I've sewn around all the tags and things like that. I got a, 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 a journal cards in here. So, okay. So, see, like, this is really too thick. I, I'm going to make smaller, maybe only three pages per um, signature, just so it's not so big. So, we'll see what happens. Alrighty, so I wanted to share that. And then I have received a happy mail from Nonstop Mom. And um, she asked me if I wanted some upholstery fabric. And, I, you know, a lot of people have tons of this, but I can never find it. So when she asked me that, I said, yes, I would love it. So she sent me a pack of, of her upholstery fabrics that she had that she wasn't using anymore, I guess. And so I thought I'd make out of these. So anyway, there's several different colors here and... Um, you know, these look, will look really nice, um, on fall journals, I think on the covers, maybe, I don't know, but I wanted to do, um, you know, where you cut this and then you layer it with another one. Like, I don't know. If, yeah. Maybe something like, I don't want to do it cause I, I want to know what I'm going to do before I start cutting it. But then you can layer those, and then you can layer it with a piece of lace like that on top of your journal, which is really, I think, is is very, very pretty. So that's what, because um, it just gives you all that nice texture. Not to cover the journal with the whole thing, although you could do that too. I mean, these pieces here, this piece probably would be, Big enough to cover the whole um, book even with the fringe on the edge it might be kind of cute um, it's kind of a southwest design maybe not maybe but it would yeah I think it would be um, I don't have a, a journal page or whatever but it would be more like this size here you guys say I know what size it'll be you don't have to show us say like that and, I, and that would be nice. Yeah, I like that. I always like the backs, too. <laughs> They're totally different colors. All right, so thank you so much, um, Kathy, for sending this to me. I really appreciate it, and I love the colors. They're perfect. Uh, this is like a green, green, uh, green gray, which is nice. Uh, yeah, these are like from those sample books. And, um, yeah. So I never see them. I never get them. I don't know. I don't, I guess I don't go out and look for them either. Uh, my class uh, that I had last Saturday was absolutely wonderful. I, I think everybody had a great time. It is amazing how, uh, how many people, well, in this particular class, had no clue about junk journaling. And they only knew because of the display that was in the library with some of the journals I've made. And so I thought, well, oh, they're going to want to get these beautiful, lacy, you know, journals. But they were just totally satisfied to do the small journal. And um, it, one of them was inking, and she had a great time inking. Uh, some have probably already subscribed. I know one has. And so, um, yeah, it was fun to, to do that my my community and they also wanted me to uh, maybe do another class and I said well I don't know what else I could teach you but uh, they seem to think that they could learn some more things from me so anyway I'm gonna let you go and um, 
uh, please uh, contact me. I Was it Brenda? Yes, I think it was. Yes, uh, Brenda, please contact me, okay? Talk to you soon. Bye.